Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where today, this video, we're going to go over how you can do an LS swap for free. Yes, free. Okay? Now, she's running. And just pulled it over here. Now, I belong to a bunch of Chevelle groups on Facebook, a bunch of other groups too, but specifically for the Chevelle group. Uh, I was on there the other day, and I guess it's a pretty common question, but it, it got me thinking I should do a separate video of, uh, of what the question was. So the guy says, uh, I want to do an LS swap in my Chevelle. How much does it cost? Uh, how much did you guys spend? And I could not believe the answers. Now, all these guys that answered must either have won the lottery or just have money to burn. And cost is no objective. It's crazy. Crazy to me. Most of them were like 10 grand. I don't expect to spend 10 grand. I'm thinking, what, 10 grand to do an LS swap? What are you, you crazy? Now, my channel is all about uh, building a car uh, cheap, but you know, you're not gonna really sacrifice quality you build it just as good as the big guys and spend a tenth of the money type thing. Okay, so didn't build the car for free, but I got the whole drivetrain for free. LS 5.3 overdrive transmission and put it in myself. And everything okay so we'll go over it I'm trying to think of everything I wanted to say while I was inside there <laughs> so this car was a basket case sitting in a field for 32 years rotted I rebuilt the whole thing took me a year just took it on hot rod power tour 2600 miles problem free no problems whatsoever okay so how do you get a dry uh, I bought it as a roller there was no engine transmission in it now I've got 70 something videos on this car plus the power tour videos of traveling I built this car to be dependable and to travel thousands of miles across the United States start it up go anywhere anytime okay and that's what it's done so far I plan to do a lot more traveling in it in the future okay so I knew I was going to spend a lot of money building this whole car because it needed everything and all new suspension you know just everything so I buy junk cars clunkers that's part of the name clunkers classics and I put an ad out that I buy cars, even campers. I've got my ad out for campers lately, but I just got a camper the other day. If you haven't seen that video, you can watch it. And I put on there, we'll buy junk, wrecked, abandoned, uh, neglected, you know, you name it. You'll see other ads like that out there. I usually put them in the Facebook groups. You can also put them in uh, Craigslist, but I think they'll charge you five or ten bucks a month to do it. I'm fixing to do it again because my phone rings too much for me. I, I don't really like to be bothered when I'm building something. You know, you don't want to be underneath a car welding or something, and all of a sudden you get a 
phone call. So I stopped the ad for a while, but I'm, since I finished this car, I'm going to start back up, and I've already acquired a few of them. And we'll go over this uh, uh, Toyota Sequoia. Just picked that up for 200 bucks. Runs and drives. Uh, just picked up a camper for free. You'll get free stuff too by putting this ad out. So you put ads out that you want to buy a vehicle. Now, I know it's not for everyone because it, you don't have, I got three and a half acres here. Everybody doesn't have three and a half acres to buy junk cars and put them on there. But if you want to be specific, LS swap. Now it's the in thing, see? Uh, that's the in thing now. A lot of people don't like it purists oh use the use the old uh, 350 small blocks you know the old school well the problem is guys they're not a dime a dozen no more you can't just pick up go to the junkyard and give me uh, give me an old 350 running no you can't do it they're not around anymore uh but even back then back in the day i used to buy Let's say I was building something like this, or a, a, a vehicle needed an engine, like a truck that was worth some money. I, I used to have 84 Sierra Classic, real nice truck, but the engine was... I bought an old Caprice or Impala, whatever the hell it was, with a, with a 350 in it for like 100 bucks running, because it was junk, four doors, you know. They weren't worth nothing. They might be worth something now. People turn them into donks. And you'd take the motor out and put it in something that's worth it. Worth worth the time and the money to put in. Uh. So, but those days are gone. You can't go pick up a Caprice with a 350 in it. And stick it in a, an old muscle car. But what you can do is do an LS swap because the LS engines are in everything. I got them all over the place. I got them in, in my tow pig. I got them in my 99 Silverado. I got it in my Avalanche. They're in Yukons, Tahoe, Suburbans, Silverados. They're everywhere. And they're plentiful. And, and they have a lot more power than them old 350s, 305s that you could get that were dime a dozen back in the day. A uh, <clears throat> lot more horsepower. This is like 300 horsepower base. And it's got stuff done to it. You know, headers. We'll open the hood here in a minute. Headers, cold in, air intake. And performance parts are through the... You can get any performance parts that you want for these vehicles for these engines ls engines if you want to you can go all the way up to you know a thousand horsepower if you wanted to uh the other good thing about these ls's is, is the gas mileage i left it fuel injected 20 miles to the gallon you can't get that out of an old 350. you put an old 350 in there and put headers on it and shit, you'll be lucky to get 10 miles to the gallon guys and the price of gas nowadays so LS is the way to go. Problem is, people are spending way, way, way too much money doing it. So that's what this video is about. Now, I don't real, I don't buy engines from a junkyard, but that's where most people get their LS engines from. I don't know what they are, fifteen hundred to twenty-five hundred, I guess, depending on mileage all that stuff you can all look it up but that's not the way to buy them it's it's way it's way too much money even 1500 bucks is way too much money just for an engine it might sound like a good deal and it probably is for some people but to me it's just it doesn't compute 1500 bucks for a used engine you can't even hear it run it's pulled uh, a lot of shady junkyards around that sell stuff and you know you don't you don't know about the mileage and you can't you didn't hear it run first and all that stuff anyway i've been through all that okay so i run an ad so if you don't have three and a half acres 
you want to run a specific ad. Looking for wrecked, abandoned, uh, whatever, broken down, Silverado, Yukon, Tahoe, Suburban, etc. Okay? Because you won't find them cheap in a for sale ad. So don't sit there and look. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a Silverado with a good engine in it for a couple of hundred bucks. You're not going to find it. An ad that pops up like that. Oh, I'm selling my Silverado uh, for 300 bucks. You won't find it. You know why? Because it'll be gone in two seconds. And you're not going to be faster than the next guy. Don't plan on it. That's a one in a million shot of trying to be there faster than somebody else. Okay, it can be done, but most likely you're not going to. So you put an ad out that you want to buy one. And then guess what? You got no competition. There's no competition. Somebody calls you up. Oh, yeah, I got a Rex Silverado with a good running engine in it. He's not calling around. He's not advertising. He doesn't want to deal with people putting an ad out trying to sell it. Uh, he's, it's just you and him. So you say yes or no. Obviously you say yes. So that's what I did. And I got this over here. And there it is. $300 2001 Silverado. Now it's complete. They blew the rear end in it. It's got a big old hole in the differential. Probably running out of oil. If we can, I got a, oh, full of, well, it's all a bunch of crap there. Okay, now it was a complete truck, and I really hated to part it out and do what I did, take the engine transmission out and put it in the Nomad wagon. But, you got a busted windshield, needed paint, needed the rear end. None of that's a big, big deal, but I was just in the middle of building this car, looking for a drivetrain, and it pops up. <coughs> so I bought uh, needed tires. I sold the tires and rims off this. These are just some junk ones I got on there, but the tires weren't that great. You can see the paint. It would have taken a lot of work to slick this thing up and make it nice to sell and I just didn't want another big project and I needed a drivetrain for the Nomad so I uh, got it home they had it been sitting up for a long time I mean it had mice stuff squirrel nuts and crap all over it even in the heater box and the top of the engine but anyway I put a battery in it fired right up Odometer reads 150,000 miles. 150,000 miles. So uh, I took the engine and, and seen with the ACE LS swaps with all that money, people are buying the, you know, $1,500, you know, whatever for the engine and then the transmission, then 1500 for a harness and all these, uh, you know, $1,000 for. Uh, pulley relocation kits uh, just tons and tons of money on all this stuff and none of it's really needed uh, for a Chevelle anyway which is an A body so that's you know Chevelle uh, Pontiac Le Mans Buick Skylark those type of, of cars now if you want to put it in a Nova or something yeah you might need that I don't know I haven't done one I all learned by trial and error on this. So, yeah, I got all the videos. I got the video pulling the engine transmission out of here. And then seeing if it fits. Just going. Okay, so. Yeah, I took the engine transmission. I used everything out the Silverado engine. All the fuel lines. The harness. I left the truck oil pan on there. I haven't had a problem with it. It does sit low. But if I was to do it again, I would probably spend not 500 or 1,000 or upwards to 1,000 
on a holly or whatever, you can get a Chinese made oil pan low profile for 265. I would probably spend some money on doing that. Okay, so pay 300 bucks for it. 300 bucks. Runs engine transmission great shape. 150,000 miles doesn't need nothing. Now, I would not recommend buying one with like 300,000 miles on it or nothing like that, unless you plan on rebuilding it. But even 300 bucks just to get an engine that you're going to rebuild anyway, still a good deal. Okay, so then what do you do with the truck? Well, as you can see, I've been parting it out. We'll go over some stuff real quick off the top of my head. I sold the bed for 250 I sold the tailgate. For 150, there's 400. I sold the rims and tires for 150. Uh, had two catalytic converters on it. I think they were 150 or 200 dollars each. I sold them for. Uh, I sold these two doors here for 100 each. I sold the seats for 150. I sold the dash for 100. Uh, I'm probably missing some other stuff. We'll go over. This radiator will fit in the Chevelle. I had that in there for a while before I bought an aluminum one. I actually got an aluminum one off a of sponsor. But you can use that from the Silverado too. So you can use the harness, the old pan the radiator. Uh, I don't know what else. I probably sold some other stuff that I can't think of, but right off the top of my head, what is that? 800,000 bucks? That I sold the parts off of it already? Plus, plus the hole is worth, you got a title to it too. And it's worth a couple hundred bucks over the scales, but I'm not going to bring it over the scales because I got, you know, tons of suspension parts, brake parts. Got this side to go. Uh, fenders, tons of parts still to sell. Okay, so let's say it's a thousand dollars parts and scrap value or whatever. It's going to be over that, guys. I, I'm going to get fifteen hundred out of this truck, but let's just say a thousand. Uh, I paid three hundred for it, so I'm up seven hundred. I got an engine and a transmission and seven hundred bucks in my pocket. So, <laughs> it's really not free, it's, <laughs> how can you word it? Do an LS swap and make 700, but I'm going to title it, do an LS swap for free. So, okay, we're 700 ahead. We're $700, take off my hood pins here. Okay, and there it is. It's the engine transmission from that truck. I even took the, uh, used all the wiring, like I said, even got the cruise control on there. Okay, so I spent uh, 60 bucks, something like that, on the cold air intake. I spent $100 on eBay headers. They work great, they don't leak. I don't know how good you can see them. Uh, then I did a tune-up. Did the oil change. This is just kind of sitting on there. So uh, the two back tabs are broke. Did uh, new coils, plugs, oil change, transmission change, fluid change, all that stuff. Uh, left everything else stock alternator water pump everything's working good left it all stock so spent a couple hundred bucks 300 bucks maybe if that what does this say i spent 300 bucks yeah well new spark plugs and coils yeah okay i spent 300 bucks so i'm still up 300 worth of engine oh uh, $30 the only thing you gotta buy 
mainly the main part you need to buy is the, the motor mount adapters from for an LS to fit the frame. So that's how I spent 300 bucks on the on the engine stuff. 300 bucks buying the truck, that's 600. I'm still up 400. So then you spend 400 on other stuff. You know, side pipes, rims, tires. And this this radiator sponsored, but like I said, the truck one fits in there. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I don't know what else to add here. That's the way you can do it. And nobody believed me when I posted on when on that forum when all these guys were. Uh, Saying I spent five grand, I spent ten grand, I spent eight grand, I spent seven grand. I expect to pay all this money. And I went on there and says, do it for free and have money in your pocket. And everybody jumped. A few guys jumped on me. Oh, bull, BS, bullshit. I said, no. I said, I did it for free and got money in my pocket. Oh, you know. Yeah, well, it ain't going to last. That, that's, that's not going to. forget how they worded it now. That's, uh, <coughs> and I says, I said, yeah, it's dependable and I can drive it anywhere. I said, I just drove it 2,600 miles on power tour. Watch my videos. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to, I know to my regular subscribers, you've all seen this and know this because I made 70 something videos of it, but, uh, this for new viewers. And hopefully it'll get some views and uh, make people think of when they build their next hot rod not to spend a fortune. If you want to spend money, spend it on other stuff. I did all the paint job myself. If you can't paint, then you can send it out. If you can't do mechanical work, you can pay somebody to put it in. Pay somebody 500 bucks to put the motor in for you. If you can't do paint and body work or motor swaps or anything like that, then I feel sorry for you because you're you're going to be into a car for way way more than what it's worth. You got to do something. You got to do work on it yourself. At some point, I subbed absolutely nothing out on this car. This car has not been to one shop. Did the alignment myself, window tint myself, everything myself. The only thing this, the only, I mounted the tires on the rims myself, but I did bring them to a shop to, to balance them. That's it. That's the only thing that this car has been subbed out to another shop to do. Other than that, I did it all myself. So if you want to see the whole story of this, you can watch all my videos. Just click uh, clunkers and classics and uh, click videos. It's on a playlist. If you want to just click the Nomad 68 Chevelle Nomad Wagon playlist, you can start from the very first video if you want, if you got the time. But that's the quick story on how you can do an LS swap, guys. Trailer hitch, it's off this truck. I used everything I could possibly use off that truck to build this car got the overdrive 20 miles a gallon runs great fuel injected you can't beat it you can't beat it with a stick uh, so anyway guys that's just a quick video of uh, I probably left some stuff out I wanted to talk about but I'm just kind of winging it uh, an example is this Toyota Sequoia. It's all wrecked, it's beat up, but it runs great. Got a good engine transmission. Not an LS, but you could take that. I bought it for 200 bucks. I'm gonna make a thousand off of it on parts and everything else. Easily, easily a thousand. But you could buy something like that, take that drivetrain out, and I wouldn't suggest putting it in an old American muscle car, but you can put it in a 
Toyota or if, you know if you're into, into foreign cars an old Celica or Supra or something and but there's your drivetrain for free right there it's free but I'm sticking with GM LS swaps or whatever in old muscle cars I'm not gonna put a Toyota drivetrain in it's a V8 Sequoia is a V8 uh, so anyway guys I think that's it I hope you all found it useful uh, some good tips there for you and uh, thanks everybody for watching like comment subscribe all that stuff and we'll see you next video